Hello Virgo, my name is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal, here to do your monthly reading for February. Welcome. Um, what was I going to say? Friendly reminder that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I'm here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out crystalthingsheal.com. You can book right on the site or book an appointment if you want a live reading. Um, what else do you want to say? New stuff on Etsy. Bam, bam. Bracelets are up. There's uh, healing kits for different chakras. Definitely check it out. Um, for those of you who would like to learn tarot, I do teach classes online a few times a year. There's one running right now, so it's not available right now. But check back in like a month or two. I'll keep you guys posted. However, if you want to read a book about it, Tarot for the Average Joe is my new book on how to read tarot. I made it super easy to read. It has spreads it has charts it has practice exercises um what else talks about numerology color symbolism animal symbolism all that good stuff so check it out okay it's available on amazon kindle for those of you who want the ebooks for those of you who want paperbacks and want faster shipping just get it from my etsy shop it's a lot faster if you get it from amazon it'll take a lot longer um keep in mind that oh there's some more stuff um, I was going to say, keep in mind that energies may or may not resonate with you because we're reading for multiple energies, okay? Um, more about the Etsy shop. Love Attraction Spray is coming, okay? That is coming in February. Sage Spray is coming back. Bilo Santa Spray is coming. There's a Love Attraction, not a Love Attraction, the Prosperity Spray It's also coming. I have not made them yet. So um, this is an older version that I have that I use for here every time I do a reading they have crystals inside if you can hear them um and the crystals kind of coincide with whatever that spray is for okay I think that's everything all right so we're gonna spray this out close it up let's do this for my lovely Virgos let's start with here what do we have going on for my Virgos in February please Virgos, it says, be willing to release. That's how we're starting the reading, I see. One more. Some of you are going to be thinking about what your life purpose is in the month of February. Some of you, your life purpose, like your, whoa, um, is coming up. It's not that it's coming up. It's, yeah, like you're coming to a point in your life where you're discovering your life purpose because some of you are going through a spiritual awakening and it's been a long time coming already. Endless possibilities. Okay, that's where the release comes in. Oh, wow. The same. These cards came out before. Okay, so what's happening is some of you are going through like a spiritual awakening um, or you're finding your life purpose. However, it, the catch is you're going to have to let go of other things in order to move on to this next level in your life. And you kind of have to let go and like don't hold any grudges about it and just be like, it is what it is. Because you know that what's coming after is way better. Yeah. All right. You may have been feeling that come for a while, but maybe there's been some resistance in the past. But it's kind of like, here, look, this is how the cards came out. The last three cards. This is, it is what it is, right? Because there, there's that doorway we're talking about. You got to open that door, but that means you also have to close what's behind it. Willing release. Okay. And then after that doorway is the power of purpose. So this is off topic, but my nails are going to look really shitty, okay? I am a surgical tech. I scrub in for surgery a lot. 
So, um, yeah, my nails are going through it right now. And you know what? It is what it is, right? <laughs> but if you're wondering, like, no, I'm not a nail biter or anything like that. It's just my nails are being tortured every day, like five times a day. <laughs> so that's what's happening. <laughs> All right. So that's your angel message. Let's go into your tarot portion. I want to do some majors. Let's get some majors out here. My lovely Virgo. Ooh. The sun and transformation. Holy mofo. That's major, dude. Well, the sun is one of the happiest cards in a deck. But the sun is also enlightenment. Um, you know, it's bringing things to light, but spiritual enlightenment, probably. Then you have the Phoenix. The Phoenix is like everything is almost like a clean slate. Everything has to crumble in order to rebuild, right? He literally burns down to ashes and then rises from the ashes. So that's really intense, uh, beginning. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm getting a phoenix tattooed on me pretty soon. I sent over some drawings. They're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. I'm actually going today to pay a deposit. After this reading. <laughs> the fool. See what I mean? But there was some resistance. Like, you know you had to do it, but... You weren't, like, willingly doing it. I said that earlier. Yeah, see? Like, you had to detach from the world and, like, heal. But because the resistance, like, you kind of... You weren't really doing it as much. I don't know. We'll find out. The devil. Is that the devil twice? The fuck? Oh, snap. <laughs> The devil twice. Why the devil? Hold on. I need to clarify that. I don't think I've ever gotten the devil twice like that together. I've seen like clarifications, but like ever, ever. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this deck, I guess. No, I'm not. This one. What's this here about? Your devil, I almost saw the devil again. Get the F out of here. Um, your devil-like tendencies. What I mean is whatever you were doing that you know you should not have been doing and you were doing anyways, it was causing people to maybe walk away from you. It was causing you, like, some of you could even, like, lost your wherever you lived, like, your home or whatever, or been kicked out of your home, something like that. It just, it wasn't leading you to a good path in life. This is probably what led you to that, um, you know, those, the ashes. Because you're the phoenix. The de Bruh, I'm not even lying. Why do you keep showing me the devil? There's something I'm missing. Hold on. Okay, hold on. There's no way you got the freaking devil three times like that. All right. <clears throat> you could have been like a horned dog. Or I don't know if you are, but you know, one of you, some of you could be like a horned dog and like just sleeping around and stuff like that. I just heard it was to void other feelings. So you use sex as your outlet to, as like, some of you might have a sexual addiction, like a sex addiction. Like that sex is your escape. Some of you might be really hairy or like the man who you're dealing with might be really hairy or something. This is definitely a masculine energy I'm reading for. 
a hundred percent. Here, here. All right. So can we clarify why is the devil here three times? Well, what's this one about? Putting the blinders on. Yeah. See, this is what I talk about. It's your escape. So what's this one about? Hiding your feelings. Okay. Now what about this one? Whoa. Not wanting to let go of your good old days of sleeping around. That's literally what it is. Look. This guy, like, he likes to, this guy likes to sleep around, right? But this is like... You not wanting to let go of that, like, um, not wanting to let go of like those good old days where you got to like be free and, you know, do what you do. Oh, I get that. That's like for females. I feel like COVID helped us with a lot with this, but I was like, I, that's like, um, for females, like, wearing, like, the little hookerish outfits to the club and all that, like, those days become over after a certain point, you know? And, like, some girls just don't want to let that go, or some ladies don't want to let that go, and it takes them a little bit longer. You know, that's, like, the vice versa of it. But this is a, a masculine energy I'm picking up on. But, um, you know, if you're a feminine with a masculine energy, um, this could be, you know, what we're talking about here. This could resonate for you. All right, so you don't want to let go of the, you know, those good days where you had the fun, yada, yada, yada. Now what? I see the tower keep trying to pop out. High Priestess. Again, that's the second time the High Priestess came out. Mmm, okay. So now you're listening to your intuition and planning for your future but you know it's gonna take the long route however now you're listen because you're listening to your intuition you know that it's worth the long route it's like you're taking yours and walking behind but i don't know if you can see you probably can't he's actually smiling like he's looking back and be like yeah that was fun but i'm gonna walk away you sat down and thought about it And look, you stop sleeping around. I don't know why this is relevant, but it is. It's important for someone. It's like vital for your transformation for someone. Part of it is because um, when you were doing that, when whoever this is for, okay, when you were sleeping around, it's kind of like you were taking what was yours and you weren't giving anything back in return. And you don't really want to do that anymore. So it's like, um, you've been reevaluating your life and your values and morals and yada, yada, yada. Right? I have no idea what the hell I'm going to call this. Um, I just heard no more sleeping around. Really? Death. Right. You could have gotten in fights with a bunch of people. You had, like, people were cutting you off. It was just causing a lot of problems in your life that you didn't need. So now, death card is moving towards the sun. All right, so we're moving forward. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't know why I said that. Feel like you don't want me to get a different deck. Why do you want me to get different? I just saw the sun, by the way. Alright. I want to get a different deck. Fine. Alright, so I'm gonna keep the death card out here. Because I think that's why my my lovely guides want me to get a different deck, because it's a whole new energy. 
I'm going to keep this out here. Take this away. Devil has to go. He keeps staring at me. I'm not digging it. All right, so death card. Put you right in the middle. Because the death card's right in between the transformation, right? Walking towards the sun and look. He's, he's literally walking towards the sun. I don't think he realizes this transformation yet. Like the phoenix, how much of a change it's going to be. And so he's already like, it's far too late. Which is, you know, it's not a bad thing. I think he's doing it and he's thought about it and he's, you know, whatever, whatever. But I don't think he really realizes how much it's going to change his life. Alright, so what happens after the death card? I just saw Ace of Cups. And the star. Holy crap. Um, for those of you who are not tarot fluent, um, that for some of you, a new relationship is coming and it's the relationship that you've always been hoping for. Ace of Cups again. One more. My candle. Is my candle about to go out? What are you doing? Pause. Some of you, because you're not sexually active during this time, no, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did. Um, you might feel like you don't have it in you anymore. Like, you don't still got it, but I think you do. I think it's just a feeling. Four of Wands. Yeah. Because now, like, the, the pointless relationships, like, you don't even want to entertain it anymore. You may have been, um, some of you may have had, like, uh, an addiction of alcohol, and you've let that go, too. Or just partying in general, or both. Who knows? But notice how they came out on opposite sides. This is where you're going. This is what you've put death to. It's behind. You see how the card, this dude is here, right? He's facing this way. Behind his back is the partying, the drinking, the social light, whatever. What he's walking through, where the horse is going, is towards anything, the transformation and long-term stability, Building new foundations for yourself. Taking a leap of faith. Right. Look, everything that's behind it is like all my player type car. You know what I mean? That's funny. You were lying to yourself for a while. So you didn't want to let things go. You were taking any offer that came to you? That could be dangerous. Because you were... That's how you... Um, distributed your emotions. Well, you didn't <laughs> distribute your emotions. That's how you got your release. Some of you could even change your jobs or lost your job due to it. And then on the side here, yeah, some of you may have lost your job. Um, on the side here, that's when the high priestess, this is a spirit guide. This is not you actually right now, um, kind of comes in and kind of gives you the nudge because she's not even connected to these cards I've been putting down here. She flew out way up here. This is a spirit guide. This is your higher self. Is it your spirit guide or your higher self? It's your higher self. Saying like, 
Your higher self may have even showed you a little bit of what you can have if you let something go. If you let that lifestyle go. Because she has a book in her hand, right? So she could have opened up like your records in your dream state or something like that. Lapis Lazuli is your third eye. I've been picking up on that energy a lot about people getting a glimpse of their future. I think that's relevant for you guys too. Something about this time period that like people are just getting a glimpse of their future. So then you break free. Holy crap. Hold on. So then you break free. Right? You're like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. Walk out the door. Will of Fortune. Ace of Cups. I told you. Why? Because the freaking hermit. Yo, all these cards. So the hermit is the one who goes within and learns about themselves. And then when they're ready to come out, they're ready to give and accept love because they've healed. Right? Which is why an Ace of Cups would be right next to it. It makes perfect sense. And now with the Wheel of Fortune that was there... Now things are finally moving in your favor. Wow. I love when my readings do a full circle like that. They do that a lot and I love it. So like, look how he even like separated everything. It's really cool. This is also self-love. This is not just new love. This is self-love. I just want to point that out. So... The beginning of the month, we may, you know, be doing what we do. And then you get some type of glimpse or vision or thought or epiphany, whatever. Because your higher self shows it to you. And then you suddenly want to change things. This is like midway. I'm going to say this is like mid-month right here. Um, You kind of, you would decide that you want to change. So... You decide to start leaving things behind. Um, I just heard celibacy. Some of you might become celibate for a little bit. Um, so then that leads you to this transformation phase. This phase is not going to happen quickly. Just to let you know, okay? This energy is probably going to be lingering for a couple months. But it's all really great things. Um, it's just that it's not going to be happening like bam, 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 bam. It might feel like that for a little bit. Um, it is going to be like gradually happening for you. So I might be picking up on this energy for like a couple months, a little bit, like a second half. But obviously we're going to end up seeing like where it's going to go and yada, 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 right? So anyways, at this point, you're ready to look. And there's always something about a doorway. He's walking through a doorway too. I just realized that. Um... Some of you might even get your chakras balanced, your energy centers, so you can be ready for this big change. Mm. If you're interested in it, I am a Reiki Grandmaster. I do, um, you can book it on my website. You know, obviously you don't have to, I don't care who you go to, but whoever wants to do it, um... As long as you take care of yourself, that's all that really matters at the end of the day, right? But there is something about your chakras being balanced by the time you're at this point. It could be because you went through a clean slate or it could, could be because you actually went and got the help. You have to break from your situation. The wheel's turning in your favor. You're become healing you have self-love and you're ready to give love to others all right that's the end of your reading that's all i got that's a really good way to end in a month so it might be a little rocky at first but just like you know look at what's coming for you it'll be worth it Alrighty. until next time bye